everyone, it's Anthony from ComicsEatingUp.net. I'm doing the new comic spec review video for September 26, 2018. Great week for comics this week. Last week we had a big winner in Batman Damned number one. No pun intended, but this book continues to rise. Everybody's going crazy for uh, the Batawang. No other way to put it. Anyway, let's see what's on tap for this week. Batgirl number 27 has another great Joshua Middleton cover. The last one wasn't so great uh, and sat around on some shelves, but this is much more his style, so this one should see some more action. Limit one per customer at Midtown already. Another killer bee on tap this week is Wonder Woman by Jenny Frizen. Another great looking cover by Frizen. Justice League Dark number three features the Upside Down Man. Uh, we got a glimpse of him last issue on the final page, but this seems to be more of a full appearance. There's a regular and a bee cover on this one. Might be worth the grab. Here's Crisis number one starts off DC's newest event series by Tom King. Uh, this centers around an ultra secret hospital for superheroes who've been traumatized by crime fighting and cosmic combat, uh, but something goes wrong unexpectedly when many patients wind up dead. With two known operators as the prime suspects, Harley Quinn and Booster Gold, three regular covers including a blank, and three variant ratios including the high ratio Francisco Matina variant. Not a lot on tap from Image, however, Maneaters number one is a new series out this week from Image. It has a regular and a glitter cover. Not crazy about glitter, but we'll see how it looks on the cover. Very female positive book from Chelsea Kane, the former writer of Mockingbird. Edge's Spider-Verse number four features another new Spider-Man cover. This time it's Nor Norman Osborn's Spider-Man. Two covers, a regular and a Cully Hamner variant. Spider-Geddon number zero kicks off the regular Spider-Geddon series. The PS4 Amazing Spider-Man makes his debut here uh, with the super sweet new suit. Two regular covers and three incentives. Marvel's hot cover price cover is Venom First Host number six. Javier Guerin cover is selling out online. Big week for indies, starting off with Stranger Things number one. This brings the fan favorite streaming show to the comic format. This follows Will's adventure in the Upside Down. That means nothing to you if you haven't seen the show. However, there are a ton of fans for this one, and it's definitely worth a pickup. Rick and Morty vs. Dungeons & Dragons number two continues the crazy crossover. Definitely a pickup for fans of Rick and Morty or Dungeons & Dragons, but Rick and Morty books tend to uh, be good long-term holds and flips. Worth picking up. And speaking of Dungeons and Dragons, Rolled and Told number one is a pretty cool new book. Features a role playing campaign for DD as well as comics. It's sold out at Midtown, definitely one to look for. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 31 starts off a new team of Rangers that have never been seen before, following up in the Shattered Grid storyline. This is definitely one that's worth watching. Phantasmagoria number one is a new horror anthology from Starburns Industry. Small press horror is my favorite genre, inspired by shows like Creep Show and Tales from the Crypt, and described as what would happen if Telemundo locked down the rights to the Twilight Zone and then gulped down a healthy dose of ayahuasca? Horror fans cannot pass this up. Fearscape number one is a new book from Vault worth checking out. A fraud is taken across into another dimension and he's thought to be a literary genius. Well, except that he isn't. Doom follows, selling out online already. And finally, Friendo number one is another cool looking book from Vault that features a killer psychotic marketing VR, also selling out online. So that's it for us this week. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you're picking up as well. Remember to give this uh, video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.